Welcome back, Year 6, to your Year 6 English lesson number 10. This is our fifth lesson this week, where we have been retelling our class text, Cloud Busting. Let's begin. As always, you will need a pen or pencil, as well as your home learning book, or a piece of paper to write on. If you don't have these things, please pause the video here and come back when you are ready. All right, let's go. As I said, this week you have been writing a short retell of our class text cloud busting. You've used a variety of features to engage your reader in your writing. Some of the features you've used include a colon to join two main clauses, direct speech to move the writing forward, as well as creating cohesion using repetition and ellipses. Today we will be editing and writing our final narrative. By the end of the lesson, we will have a piece of writing which tells the story of cloud busting to our reader in an engaging and interesting way. Let's begin. Please remember, my model texts are always within our lesson to help you. So if you're writing or you're working and you're feeling a bit stuck, you may go back to these slides with my models on it to help you. Our learning objective today is to assess the effectiveness of our choices in writing and make edits to improve our work. Please pause the video here and write down your date and your learning objective. All right, let's go. When we edit our work, we want to improve the way we share our ideas with our reader. We need to edit to make it clear how the reader is meant to read the writing. We edit to make it clear how the reader should picture the information. And we edit to make it clear how the reader should feel about the information. Our editing process is all about the reader. This can be really tricky because you are the writer. You are inside your own head and you know what you meant to write. But when we edit, we need to pretend that we are the reader. We need to pretend that we don't know the story of cloud busting. And we need to assess the effectiveness of our writing based on this idea that we don't know the story. Editing our writing improves the way we share ideas with our reader. When we edit today, we are going to use this checklist to help us. This checklist includes the features that we worked on this week, including colons, direct speech, and cohesion using repetition and ellipsis. It also includes some other key things that as year six writers, we should be doing in our narrative storytelling. The first thing is using a variety of sentence openers, including adverbials, verbs, nouns, and adverbs. Moving down to the fifth row, we should also have word choices in our writing that are ambitious, but are suitable, which means they make sense. Please make sure, Year 6, that you are only using words in your writing that you know the meaning of. And finally, in our sixth row, our final item on the checklist is to make sure that the reader understands the story because I've carefully chosen the most important events to include. It's not possible for us to include every single event that happened throughout the story. So you need to be sure you've picked out the most important events for your writing. Let's take a look at one example before we begin editing on our own. Which of these sentences has been edited to improve the writing and how do you know? The sentence says, his smile turned to a frown as he swallowed that first bite. He knew something was not right. Now look at how I've edited. Pause the video here and think, which of these was edited to improve the quality of the writing? Great job. 
If you said number two, you are correct. While number one has been edited, the only things that have been fixed in number one are spelling and grammar errors. In the second example, I've used some of the features from our learning this week to help improve the way my reader will read this sentence. I've created cohesion, I've created interesting sentence structures using those colons, and I've improved the way the reader will read. I want you to remember this when you are editing today. So let's remember that today we're going to be assessing the effectiveness of our writing and making edits to improve our work. Yes, I want you to improve and fix your spelling and punctuation errors. But I also want you to be focused on these six things when you're editing. Your first task, year six, is to edit your writing from this week. I'd like you to use the tick list on the left with the six rows to help ensure your writing has impact on your reader. Remember that when we edit, we don't read our writing simply one time and say, done. No, I suggest you read your story one time for each of the rows in the checklist. For example, the first time you read your story, you will be thinking about sentence openers and checking, making edits, and improving your sentence openers. The second read through, you will be checking that you have used colons and used them appropriately. In your third read, you will check and edit and improve your direct speech and so on. This task should take you approximately 20 minutes. Pause the video here and come back in 20 minutes after you have edited your story. Welcome back. Great editing, Year 6. Let's get started with writing task number 2. Your second writing task today is to choose your very best two paragraphs to write up in NEAT. Please ensure that these two paragraphs use each of the features we learned about this week. Remember, Year 6, if you're ever feeling like you need support throughout the lesson, please find the model texts throughout the lesson to help you with your writing. Writing up your very best two paragraphs should take you approximately 20 minutes. And please do your best to show this writing to your teacher when you are finished. Well done this week. I'm so proud of your writing and I can't wait to read your final best paragraphs written up in NEAT. Well done, Year 6, and I'll see you next time.